My name is Sherrod Patching, and I lead the Technical Account Manager team here at GitLab. I wanted to take you today through high level some of the metrics that we track across our customer base. It's worth calling out before I get into these that ultimately what we're looking to achieve is happy customers that stay customers and grow. But those are lagging indicators and oftentimes can come much later in the customer life cycle. So what we're going to talk to or talk about today are leading indicators. So how do we determine if a customer is healthy? And if not, what do we do about it? And do handle these proactively both at a micro level with one customer and also at a macro level across our book of business. So we've rolled our customer metrics into three primary themes, align, enable, and expand. So aligning is really about ensuring that we take that command plan, the pre-sales conversation around the customer's desired business outcomes, and then having that carry through to our post-sales experience, ensuring that there is a success plan that reflects that, and that we have milestones and tasks that are agreed with the customer, so we're working towards their desired outcomes together. And then things like executive business reviews to use to reflect on how things have gone, to tell that story back into the buyer of what we've achieved together, and to make our champions really look like heroes back into their own company or maybe to get things back on track if things haven't gone the way that the customer had hoped due to dueling priorities or other things that can change. And using that time together to reestablish strategic objectives and next steps as we move forward towards the customer's improving return on investment. With Enable, this is really about ensuring that we help the customers to adopt in full the use cases that they're looking to do today that they understand what good looks like as they move towards their own maturity, and that we're taking them on that journey towards a broader adoption that means that their ability to work with GitLab and the return that they get from their investment in GitLab is high. And then is expand. Where do we go together next? How do we move forward from your use cases you're doing today into solving for other business pains through other use cases that are available to you? How do we get a higher return on investment by, able, by potentially being able to consolidate some of your tool chain into the GitLab platform? How do we ensure that we are solving for your business problems tomorrow as well as the ones that you have today? So with the line, these are, reports are all ones that we have in Gainsight. And we look at things such as success plans by town to determine, do we have a success plan for every customer? And if not, how do we help gain on that path of getting there? The executive business reviews, how many have we completed this quarter so far and how many do we have open? What are the challenges that we have potentially in getting them scheduled? What are the challenges we have potentially in getting the right people into the conversation? Then how do we, through cell town alignment, actually ensure that we are getting better at having those conversations more frequently and ensuring that the right people are present? Our scorecards for our customers, are we engaging frequently enough? And if not, what are some of the challenges we're finding there and how do we overcome them? Are we having the right command plan driven conversations with our customers, which is our ROI scorecard? And if not, how do we ever overcome some of those with training or enablement for the TAMs? With Enable, it's things like customer onboarding. How do we ensure that it's succinct and effective, that we quickly speak to the customer after the sale while they're still excited about their purchase, that we quickly move them into their first value point in license utilization so that others are actually using the platform? And how do we get them out of onboarding so that they can begin to explore the full availability of the use cases that came to GitLab to realize? We look at things like stage adoption. What stages are the current uh, are the current stages that the customer have adopted? Today, this is manually done, and you can imagine with some of our TAMs having upwards of 60 accounts, the data is directionally accurate. But with telemetry, this is going to be something that we can completely trust in time and can begin to use this to say, where do we have risk in our accounts because they only have one use case with GitLab? Or where do we actually have customers that are adopting more than they realize? And we can reach out to them to let them know and say, did you know part of your team is actually doing CI with GitLab? Could we work with you to help enable them to ensure that they're getting the full realization of the value that's available to them? And then the bottom right, you've got the customer specific scorecard and attributes. We'll look at things in, along with health score, activities, open objectives. We'll also look at things like license utilization. 
So how do we ensure that a customer is getting full value for what they're paying for? And if they're not, then working with them on those barriers to adoption to ensure that early in the life cycle and early in our relationship, they are re realizing full value. And expand. How do we move forward from here? You can currently see today that we're tracking our open conversations we're having with customers around next steps. So these are 160 active conversations we're having with our customer base about new stages for them to move into. We're, over time, we'll track our wins and losses against these. And as the data set grows, be able to better see when we win, how do we win? And when we don't have success in moving forward, what are some of the barriers? And then how do we help to overcome those barriers? And then ultimately, you can see down the bottom what this then means to our book of business overall. What does this mean to our retention? What does this mean to our growth? And how do we, through these metrics over time, measure and improve on these so we can continually have an increasing health of our customer base? Thank you.